Hey, what's up guys? This is Ashdog, showcase of Elfeld Valentine in Guild War. Let me show you guys her stats, her gear, and the stats of the other heroes in this Guild War. Here we go. My Elfeld has 10 skill ups, and that's all you really need to do her combo skill 3 into the skill number 2. If you down the target, you can land the fans break on the rest of their team, get the crit chance buff for your team. Uh, more debuffs means more damage with this skill too, and this is... Uh, the big damage uh, from her really uh, you're gonna be putting the target to sleep you're gonna defense break the target with this thing when they are asleep you have a hundred percent crit chance so that is huge you get the extra turn with this thing into the skill number two and uh, if you have target debuff because you wear song of stars uh, you can ignore effect resistance to land the target debuff and land those debuffs when you soul burn her for 20 soul so you can also uh, bypass the 15 percent innate resist with the soul burn so that's pretty nice and her skill one she's got enable to be buff debuff for one turn uh, i mean you can skill this up uh, if you want to complete the character and uh, she's got effectiveness for herself here so i mean i wish it was attack percentage but you can definitely put the effectiveness to good use if you're not going to be soul burning uh, she's got attack percentage for the rest of the team uh, team not herself with the team wide uh, imprint release the gear that I have on Elfelt are actually like really good. Uh, having her on Rage set will allow you to deal 30% more damage versus a debuff target. So that is huge actually. And it will definitely inflate her damage a lot because of that. So having her on a hit set allows me to have a decent amount of effectiveness more. Which means I'm not relying on the soul burn on the skill number 3. Song of Star, target debuff, 20% more damage when you apply target debuff. And more damage because you have an additional debuff. Uh, because of uh, the way her skill 2 actually works but it's hard to gear her out and you need a maxed out song of star to be more reliable but these are her stats the attack and crit damage doesn't seem that high but rage really push her damage and she has 221 speed as well so keep that in mind and now for the stats of the other heroes in this guild war there is landy there is sid i got watcher shuri in there Kron, challenger domino there is also Lydica. I have Auxiliary Laws, which is uh, right here. And finally, there is Sinful Angelica. Okay, let's do it up, baby. Today, we're fighting ReZero. So, are we winning or are we losing? We are winning by a lot. So, let me find my first opponent. My first opponent, round one. I'm gonna do this real quick, pushing Landy, giving speed buff to Sid if something survives. Round two, we're gonna be using Elfelt against ML Ken. Let's see if that works. If she fails, well, there's Watcher Shuri. But I feel pretty good about this. So uh, let's test it out. Let's test it out. They doubled up on the revive on that round two. Okay. So here, they have a nice amount of buffs. I'm at uh, 90. 90 fighting spirit. So let me soul burn and let's do it again this is gonna penetrate 50 percent of their defense so it's gonna deal a ton of damage she's on a speed build so she's not as well she doesn't deal as much damage as when she was on a slower build but it's still quite ridiculous okay now we got sinful to counter the revive mechanism the question is are we going to land that sleep with Elfelt with that skill number three? Well, let's find out. Are we going to get that target debuff with Song of Stars? Let's find out. Oh, we got it all. Okay. Here comes some big damage. She's on Rage, so it's going to hit pretty hard. Let's see. 9,800. 23,000 over 23,000 he got destroyed and we softened him up with skill 3 beforehand my god let's pop this ruel here easy peasy done wow that was great that was definitely great Elfelt is uh is a lot of fun you need to have the gear though like on a rage set it's quite surprising what kind of numbers you can actually get. Uh, I don't have skill ups into her S1, so it's not going to deal that much damage. She's on Rage, so no debuff. Not that much damage coming out. Yeah, let's just clean this up, and uh, that was very successful. Uh, I'm, 
Yo, the damage of Landy though, like, what the? Like, what is that? What was that? Like, she's on the speed set. She's on a speed build with 205 speed. It's just, it doesn't matter. She just deals too much damage with uh, Rengar's, Rengar's special Drake. Man. Yeah. A ton of fun. A ton of fun to be had with limited heroes. All kind of heroes. Okay, let's move on to my next opponent. And look at this damage. That's without attack buff. My god. Okay, so the round one, I hope I have enough speed. So Elfelt will take out Charles, and Sid will take out Seaside. Hope it works. Round two, Oxlaws, uh, push Landy, deals a ton of damage, gets the extra turn, and uh, they probably don't have enough uh, buffs to pull it off uh, to go uh, with double S3. So it's gonna be S3 and two S1 and, on, and two Elena. Um, unless Seedom is going next guaranteed, then I might just take out Champion Zerato. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, let's test it out. Let's test it out. Oh, please don't be a fast Lilius. Okay. Okay, <laughs> there's no immunity too. That's gonna be pretty nice. If I down Charles with Elfeld, that means the fans break on the rest of the heroes. It definitely makes things much easier. So let's open up here with the S3. Yo, don't... Don't resist! Don't resist, Charles! There is Aureus. Oh, we got all the debuffs. There's Aureus on Lilia, so uh, take that into account. But she hits like a, like a truck. Look at that, man. 19,000 plus the damage before. Look at those defense breaks. It's beautiful. Sits on portrait because I couldn't deal damage to Seaside, so I swapped it before. I usually, usually have him on Elias Knight. Look at the extra damage! Oh, Lilius, my god. So good. So that defense break after landing a kill with uh, Elfelt on skill 2 is ridiculous. And you also get the crit chance buff, so you could put that to good use. Oh, that Elena is quick. They don't have any buffs, so you know what that means. There's no S3 back to back. So, uh, yeah. I mean, gonna have to uh, do it up here. Elena... She's gonna jump ahead. Okay, wait, with another, with another crit, with another crit, no, Seedom's next to go. It shows up Seedom first. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I have to go champion. I, I can't have both damage either deal damage to me. I'm gonna go down. There we go, okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now I'm gonna be able to uh, pop Alina, I think, here. Even without a, without attack buff. Nice damage. And maybe a silence. Clean this up. If I get silence, that's, that's really good. Nice. Oh, doesn't matter. We outspeed. We have speed buff, baby. Speed buff from Landy. Too good. I'm going with the same team here. I have to counter Arbiter Vildred with Sinful Angelica. So Elfeld is going to take out Charles. Defense break on the other two, maybe. Uh, Arbiter maybe doesn't have immunity. Seaside might have it, but uh, no one in the front. So Sid's going to be able to clap this, uh, this Seaside into Arbiter. Uh, if, if he has Moonlight Dream Blade and I miss, if he's got defense break on himself because of Elfeld, I think I can take him out still. So round two, I'm gonna reduce their health with uh, Lydica, uh, and then I'm gonna push Kiron, you know, on Elias' knife to cleave them. So let's try that out. Okay. Now, uh, are they going first? They are not. Okay. Let's do it up. I don't see immunity, so that's gonna hurt real bad. Okay. We open up on Charles. Okay, come on, land your debuffs, do it, yeah, okay, I could, I could ignore him, you know, you can just ignore the target, leave them uh, sleeping, that, that's also a possibility, but in this case, I'm going for the, for the kill, look at that damage, my god, it's ridiculous, defense break is applied, success, Take out Seaside into Arbiter. 
definitely there is no way it doesn't happen look at the, like, 65,000 damage that's what happens when you have defense break and look at this 42,000 these numbers are ridiculous man ridiculous defense break enables so many different things so uh, they are slow here I'm gonna soften them up with the skill number two Okay, my, my crippled them. Oh, nice debuffs. And now I push k -Ron. Oh, yeah, that Ellie has knife. And we go. I could have soul burn, actually. Because, uh, yes, I only need 10 souls here. Let's do some damage here. Oh, baby. It's crazy. It's crazy. Man. So much damage in this guild war. Let us know what you guys think about Elfelt Valentine in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like. If you loved it, consider subscribing to the channel. Match Good luck with all you do. Peace out for now.